Zach. Yes. Have you still got anything from prison? I do. In fact, I've got, yeah, I've got my um, certificates of all the courses that I did whilst I was inside. Oh. In a nice little folder. That's cute. It's I love right, that. You should you? keep them. What about me? Yeah. Um, have I got anything? My prison number in my head. Always. <laughs> you know, what? I thought I forgot it the other day and I still got it. You know what? I do actually have... Um, I do have a hoodie, a jumper that got me through my days. I used to put it over my pillow. So my the face one. didn't yeah. touch the pillow. And I can't get rid of that jumper. It was like my, my best friend. It's it comfort. helped me. Welcome back to Life After Prison with Zach and Jules. And this is an episode with just us two. And it's all about new beginnings. New beginnings. Fresh starts. Um, Fresh start. What it means to us, what it means to other people. Um, but yeah, Zach, what does new beginnings mean to you? New chapter or new book, new page, blank, fresh start, uh, reset. I like all these words. Leave back, <laughs> leave behind negativity, start fresh, full of positivity, set new goals, new targets. So give me an example. What's a, what, what's right, a so, new beginning to you? Great. So for example, I'm going to uh, try to be a better person this year, for example. Okay. So I'll be like, I'm going to stop. Um, I don't know. I'm going to stop reacting quickly to things. Ooh. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, you do that so, all the time. Yeah, of course I do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm Fast to react. No, no, that's but, good. Um, so be but more that's patient. So a bit more patient. So for example, um, so then you take that into this new start of yours and you leave that in the in the past. Do you know what okay. I mean? Okay. So that's an example, a minor, small example. No, it's that. nice. You know what I'm saying? What about for you? I'll then? give you an example then. Yeah. Uh, this year, I, I want to be more... Uh, more not intuitive what's the word um what are and obviously i'm into my health yeah. and eating well yeah. pt background yeah, yeah. you know it, it means a lot but actually understanding what i eat more okay so more not in just, tune yeah yeah that's it okay. more in tune Intuit right. what, what did i say intuitive <laughs> what does that even mean yeah you're good it's okay. good word though it's good um, though. yeah and not just fuel to for my training and to to build muscle or whatever. Not just focus on that, but actually understand what I'm eating, where it comes from. What's um, good for your body. Yeah, what's good for my body so that my... Um, so for health, for mm. overall health. So I like that. Yeah, and be excited about it. Okay. For yeah. me, I can't get excited about that stuff. About food? Yeah, it's got to be food I like. Then I'm excited. This food is stuff that you'd like. Okay. I'm well, like, it, how could you not like good foods? I like good food. Yeah. Like, it's, <laughs> you changed it's, what I it's said. Got, <laughs> I like um, healthy uh, food. Healthy food, yeah. And make my make my plate more like a, the rainbow okay. and not just... More colourful, yeah. Yeah, not just same, same, protein, fat, carbs. Like, yeah, I'm like that. Still so. that, but... In okay. different sources. Not bad. Let us know how that goes. Anyway, I will. Yeah, keep let, us posted. I'll let you know how the patient patient stuff goes, yeah? Yeah, yeah. update the people. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, new beginnings can mean many different things. And yeah. you've got new beginnings out here. You've got them in prison as well. Yeah, new, new beginnings in prison can be like, for example, cool. um, moving wings. Mm -hmm. That's a new start. Moving a new beginning. prisons. Moving prisons, yeah. yeah. Getting your decat. Getting your decat. Moving that's a prison, big one. but progressing in that. Yeah. And I think that's so important as well when you're progressing or or moving in prison because sometimes, um, you know, if you're moving to another wing, it'll be beneficial for you, you know, yeah. not to be around be certain like an, people. Can be like an enhanced wing or like mm -hmm. a semi independent unit. Exactly. If it's an enhanced wing, that means you're progressing. And if it's a decat prison, then you're progressing. So, yeah. Moving, I, I used to enjoy moving. I remember when I moved to um, Drake Hall yeah. and I knew that I was just getting that a little bit closer to home. Like I was yeah. so far yeah, north yeah, yeah, yeah. that that was a progression point for me. That was like, right, I've done six, seven months um, and I can spend, I don't mind how long I spend of my sentence at Drake Hall because I knew that I was just closer to home. So yeah. for me, that was progression. Okay, now I feel you. For, and, and the thing about those things that um, are like new beginnings within a sentence, especially if you're someone doing a, a little while in there, 
it breaks up your time. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? So it gives you um, like a renewed energy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, so like, for example, you move to, you move to another prison where like you've been on remand now, you've been, you've got your sentence. Now you're in a sentence prison. Yeah. So now it's crack on with your sentence. Yeah. And then whilst you're there, it's like you hit your milestones, get your enhanced, boom. Oh, DCAT review. Off we go. Next chapter. Next chapter. So yeah. you're breaking up your time. Uh, and it allows you to like reassess things and see how you can move forward. A but bit. the real new beginning, the 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 proper fresh start would be when you're released from prison, right? A hundred percent. That's the real, that's the creme de la creme. That is, that's home time. Home time, <laughs> fresh home, Yeah. fresh start, clean you slate. can't really beat that clean slate, can you? You can't beat it, you can't beat it. Um, you can, you can, but that's a good one. A it's a great one. And we wanted to hear from you guys about your experiences of a fresh start. So we have a couple clips for you of people sharing their experiences. First up, we got um, Steve Gerlin, who's going to talk about um, being released. So let's hear from Steve. I was released from prison on the 31st of December 2020. And for me, that was really helpful because I used that date and that period of time as the closing of one chapter and then the beginning of another being the end of the year and then going into the new year. And everyone around me was also doing that with their New Year's resolutions. So that environment and the the mindset of people around me was also very similar. So that was really helpful. However, just to contradict that slightly, what I also came to the realization is a lot of the work that I've been doing prior to release started way, way before, months before, such as learning more about me, looking at different beliefs, challenging beliefs, different values, really gearing up that mindset ready for ready for release. So on that 31st of December, I was then ready. Although I had this new start, again, the work had been done previously. So yes, it was good, but I'd also done loads of work prior to that release as well. So I was ready for that new start. Yeah, he was released on New Year's Eve, wasn't he? Yeah. Wow. 2020. I mean, he was very prepared, wasn't he? Really, really prepared. It sounds like he he did a lot of um, personal development beforehand. Mm -hmm. Uh, And that resonates with me. You know, I I worked a lot on myself. I worked a lot on um, my character, how I behave, you know, how I reacted to things. Um, you know what I mean? So really mm-hmm. look, taking a good look inwards, a real deep look at yourself and saying, how can I improve? How can I be better? And then how do I take this mm. going forward and which into ha- my release? Yeah, which made you, um, you know, be able to do what you did when you got out, you know? Uh, but he, yeah, he's he really thought about it and he said it was way before, you know, has even released. And, you know, it's the same for me as well, preparing um to be qualified when I got out, if I hadn't have done that work of studying and preparing to be mm-hmm. a PT when I got out, I wouldn't have done that, and I wouldn't have had I wouldn't have had the start I did. So massive credit to yeah, to, big up to yourself, Steve. Steve and anybody that's working on themselves before release, working on their future yeah. career, future plans, future self. Like you said, you had to really dig inwards. Yeah, um, working on yourself, your personality, your mindset. Really important. But you know what? Also, listening to what Steve said, uh, sounds good, yeah? Is that you can say, I haven't been in prison this year. Oh, I love that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it comes to the new year and you're like, I ain't been in prison this year. I just thought of that. Yeah, it just hit me like... <laughs> I was in prison I mean? last year. I was in prison last year, bro. <laughs> it sounds like ages ago. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that, that can actually help with your men- mentality and your, your positivity. Like, pff, that was last year, mate. New Year, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's good. So yeah, big up yourself, Steve. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, that. thank you for sending that in. Um, our next clip is from a very good friend of mine, Claire. Um, yeah, let's hear what she had to say about her new beginning. Hi, I'm Claire. I've always had a passion for flowers and I've always wanted to be a florist growing up. Whilst I was in prison, I decided to get in contact with some charities and I managed to get funding a level two floristry course as I was always working in the prison gardens You'd forever find me in that greenhouse making sank with flowers or the greenery that I've gone round and cut from the trees. At Christmas, I would make Christmas store wreaths to be sold at the local market for the prison to sell. Um, I'd make a Christmas workshop to teach the girls and the officers how to make arrangements and door wreaths. It was just so much fun being able to teach other people what I love. 
I'd learnt so much in my time and I was just so excited to be released and to be back with my family and to start my new journey on the outside. I managed to get myself a placement at the local college to do my level three. Um, this was my fresh start and my new chapter away from crime and just to do what I love. I couldn't wait to show the people what I could do. It's just, yeah, so exciting. The goals I set myself in jail, I completed them and I'll forever be grateful I had the chance to do so and even more grateful now I can teach my little girl along the way. That's a nice one from Claire. Oh, she makes me so happy. <laughs> she's she's incredible. And she was forever in the greenhouse and making stuff for Christmas and teaching other people. That That's what I love. She actually, she liked it. It was a hobby. It's a passion. And then she's actually like leading workshops inside. Like this is how you do things, making arrangements. and Yeah. I like that. Being able to showcase her talent inside and teach other people. Seriously, she she made some incredible stuff, like incredible um, stuff. And I remember us both sitting um, inside in our cell and she was dreaming about coming out, being a, um, being a florist yeah. and working in a florist and having her own shop. And I'd be dreaming about being the best PT ever, you know, and it was really, really lovely and really, really sweet. So I'm so glad that she did a level two and yeah. continued with flowers because she's so good. And what I also like about what Claire said is that she, she took that initiative to reach out to charities, to get funding, to get that support, to do it when yeah. she got out. She was I super really proactive, that. made me proactive, to be fair. So credit to Claire. Your cell must have been full of proactivity. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> sometimes that, that cell actually was just, uh, what's it called? Like arts and crafts. Okay, <laughs> it was like crazy, but I loved it. It yeah. was like um, positive as well. You know, all of that kind of stuff around you is, is good vibes, good colours, yeah. good things to see, good things to have. So... Yeah. I like that. Big up, Claire. Big up yourself, Claire. Thanks for the voice note. Annette.